baseball to music, man. Follow the chick. <laughs> gotta give me a hoodie, man. You gotta give me one of them. I got you for sure. It's getting cold, too. <laughs> yep. What makes you want to start the, the record label or you know, going in the music business? Man, I want to start the record label because we from Ace Town, you know what I'm saying? So we got a uh, rich culture of music. But I felt like it was going, you know what I'm saying? I felt like we was in a little slump. So, you know. Nah, I wasn't up, little, it was bad. That's what I'm saying. So I'm on the outside looking in. I'm in I'm LA, city, Florida. Man. I could see on the outside. I always kept track of what's going on. So. You know, I was like, what's up? You know, ain't nothing going on. So, sure, I was just saying I can go start my own thing and try to crank it back up on my own. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, shit, you know, I knew T. Ferris. I knew his history. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We knew we had the blueprint from right. other other labels before us. So, I combined that with, you know what I'm saying, talent that I already knew was here. And, you know, we put all the play together. And here it is. Right. Yeah. You see what you've done, though? Y'all see what I done. This was the plan from day one. I don't think you see it though. Like you, know you motivated saying? like a lot of people to like. Stuff, do stuff. Yeah. And that was the plan coming into it for real. You know, like I ain't know we would be this big. Can't nobody say that. Yeah. But you know, you hope for it. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. And when it happened, you just embrace it. You know. But it was definitely to motivate everybody. You know. That's why if you go look at T Ferris Instagram, when the first day I put it, I took that picture on purpose because I wanted to show when when you know we first started motivating people to do right. it. I don't know, they probably will never give me the credit for it, but we all know, you know what I'm saying? I, I've seen personally how how people was working around here. I know they're working hard or not. Right, I'm just right. seeing, I see it on the ground, the streets here, where they grinding. They can't lie. Everybody trying to get it. So that's what we, that's what we set out to do when we yeah. got in it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You think, you think the, the, the money that you made in baseball, you were making the music industry? I mean, the crazy part about it is, I potentially have, I, I, you know what I'm saying, as long as I have the potential to do something, yeah. I'm with it. So the potential for me to make just as much money in baseball is here in the music business, you know what yeah. I'm saying? I can't say I haven't made that much money from how I made in baseball yet, but the potential is there. It's all set up for me to go yeah. and, and do it, you know, and that's what drives us. That's what drives me, you know right. what I'm saying? I want to be the first athlete to say, well, I am the first athlete to cross over and be successful. Be successful with it. But, sure. you know what I'm saying, I want to, like, capitalize off it just like I did baseball, you yeah. know. But my thing is not just for me to capitalize. Mine was to open doors for others, you know what I'm saying. And just like like, 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 like the Megans, all the people that – see, people don't talk about the other people that right, I've seen right, right. before. But, you know what I'm saying, just to get that opportunity, you know what I'm saying, so. But even some of the people that you signed before, they yeah. doing better than they, they ever did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, not to even be funny, but nah, nah, for I real. Know, I know, because, you know, they just, you know what I'm saying, I came over here, I showed them the work, I showed them little, little things to do, you know. Of course, a little swag rubbed off on them, because, you know, that's just what happened when you were around us a lot. But, like I say, we, we was here to motivate, you know what I'm saying, to make a person want to be a better businessman, entrepreneur, whatever it was he wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? We gave the opportunity. We don't just got artists and stuff. We got people working down in the right. office. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. We, got, we just a whole little business around right. here. So, um, man, you know, so we, we help people before us, and they doing well now. Then, you know, just say that was the plan. That, that, that's what it was put in for. Yeah. Yeah. It ain't about the money. Yeah, you know, it was just to come back and this is my way of giving. I never like to be like, you know what I'm saying? I would love to be like more in the community more, but I was so proud from baseball. So, yeah. you know, I'm just not the person that you see out all, all the time doing stuff like that. But this was my way of giving back to the city of Houston, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because I feel like, shit, like, I'm influenced by the city of Houston. Everything I ever did came from Houston, you know what I'm yeah. saying? My whole mentality, just straight H time. So, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I owe the city something for that. So that's why I came back and did what I did. Now, you know, I guess I got lucky again. <laughs> got successful. You <laughs> call it love. People don't understand, you know, when you like unselfish like that and you do unselfish acts like that, this is how you get paid back for it, you know. So when I came here and saw the industry here, I just thought, like, I just saw everybody so selfish. It's just a me, me, me type thing. Right. You know, so, you know, coming from a sport, I don't understand that. Right, right, because, right. You know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta. You gotta have a team to win. Ain't no way, ain't no way. <laughs> history of sports, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you gotta have a team. So, you know, that's what I came with, a team concept. But it's like, it's hard to beat that I-I sometimes. Yeah. And, 
you know, it's cool, but I think I rubbed off enough to where uh, motherfuckers know, you know what I'm saying, it's about the team, you know what I'm saying, if it's not about the team, then, you know, clearly we, you know, we have to go out several ways, right. you know, yours, yeah. you know, <laughs> that's how it is. So I ain't even gonna ask. About what? About the ones that had to go the other way. You know ways. what I'm saying, and I had to learn, this is just me learning in the business, you know yeah. what I'm saying, like, when I got into this business, I was just like too <coughs> close with everybody. Like I right. wanted to like just I wanted you know what I'm saying? Like 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 how a veteran would do me when I was a rookie. Right, right, right. I wanted to get at the feeling to as many people as I could, you know. But you know, when you get too close, too close, too fast, and you just give a motherfucker everything they wanna ask for, and then one time you say no about something, then you, then, then you hey, yeah. all kind of bitch ass <laughs> niggas, ho ass, this nigga here won't do this, yeah. whining about that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just like, I came into this, you know what I'm saying, from sports, it look like, you know what I'm saying, it's nothing but alpha. You know, I'm coming from a locker room, right, right, you know, right. a locker room alpha, but everybody is a super alpha. Right, 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 right. So, looking from the music business, you would think that, Shit, these niggas, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it's it's totally emotional, different. you know, and I understand now, you know, so it's a totally different ball game, you know what I'm saying? They just, it's just a little most, you have to be a little bit more sensitive in this, yeah. in this business than you would have to do in like sports, you know what I'm saying? You ever thought a female artist would take you to the, to the level? Man, I ain't thing? never think that, but um, I knew that for one, you know what I'm saying? We never had a girl that was a superstar in rap. You know what I'm saying? Two, I knew that, and the girls that did rap from Houston, they always rapping like the niggas. Right. Or even looking at her, even from their posture, the way they rap. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? They look just like your little brother or something. <laughs> so, you know, then, you know, so, and I never, and I never saw a rap girl here embrace their uh, sexuality. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So when I saw a mayor, I already knew. I was yeah. like, man, first off, she embracing it. You know what I'm saying? She can rap. You know what I'm saying? And she not, she don't, you don't, you don't think she like a, like your homeboy or something. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So it was just something totally different. And I was like, shit, this, 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 this is work right here. Yeah. Because Houston ain't never seen this before. So. Man, I remember when I first seen her, like, I was asleep. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I was asleep. I ain't, man, I'm talking about word for word, everybody in the club. I'm like, who is she? Damn, she fucking, like, wow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was totally asleep. Man, so I, I just happened to, I didn't even have an Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker made me get an Instagram. Yeah. That's just how proud I was. I'm in the music business and didn't want Instagram. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like, man, you ain't, what you, what you think you from the accomplish with my Instagram? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, they made the Instagram for me, started following people. I was following about 100 people. One of them happened to be uh, a, a nigga that did the opening for me, he just followed rappers and strippers. Right, right, you know what right. I'm saying? So, it wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? No, I never thought it was strippers. <laughs> rappers and strippers. So, uh, who was it? Who paid? It was, it was Malaya Page. Yeah. Yeah, she posted her freestyle on her page, you know what I'm saying? And I just happened to just stroll by that shit and see it. And I was like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It been up ever since. Ever since. <laughs> I'm on the ground. <laughs> it's just, you just, you just all the day, you moving left, right, up and down, you know what I'm talking about? Busy, trying to commotion, fans, you know, it's just a lot. For 30 minutes in the club. Oh, you talking in the, in the club? No, I'm just saying, you doing all that just for 30 minutes in the 30 club. 30 minutes in the club, what's going down? <laughs> talking about pandemonium in that place. But, uh, you know, that's what a nigga asked for. You can't ask for nothing else, you can't be mad. It's yeah. just, you know, I'm getting a love and age, you know, I, my energy is the same. <laughs> they used to be negative. Yeah. I'll be in the club yawning and shit. <laughs> Gotta see everything through, man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, yo. Guys that you was playing baseball with, trying to get in the industry, they used to play baseball. Yeah, I got a couple of them. You knew they gonna they was gonna come. Yeah. Cause they, you know they, you know, it's a copycat league. Yeah. So everybody wanna do everything. They see somebody else. And you know we didn't put the struggles on the ground. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It just looked like we just stumbled into some good shit. Let me ask you this. Easy. <laughs> Let me ask you this. We see what the success is. Yeah. Like what you feel like was one of your biggest struggles. So Biggest struggle? Yeah. In, in the music business part. Biggest struggle <laughs> is just trying to get taken seriously, trying to get that breakthrough song, you know, trying to break through. 
that's the main thing, you know, like you get a song and shoot, it's just so hard to try to like get that mud like to to just break. You right. know what I'm saying? Just trying to break a break a record. Like in Houston or just in just general? Period, yeah, just yeah. period. Just trying to break a record, you know. So uh that's that's one of the hardest things and pretty much just like in the beginning stages when you like everybody just kinda mess up the song when you finna perform or yeah. you know Show don't go the right way, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just everything, like, it's just always something early on, but you yeah. know, run pains, pay to do, you know, yeah. it's part of it. I feel like I'm glad I went through all that stuff early, bad, because now I don't feel bad. I now I don't feel bad about this. Yeah. If I'd have just walked out, retired, and then, bam, I got all this too, I'd have been like, damn, I knew it was going to go bad at some point. Yeah. But shit, it went all bad first. <laughs> <laughs> they don't see yeah. that though, like you said. They don't post all bad first. Trust me. <laughs> it was like it was delightful in the beginning. Then it just went left. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Left, left. You know. I, was, I remember when I first started hearing about hitting on. Yeah. You know all the artists rocking jewelry. You yeah. know just looking good more than the music was. It wasn't even about the music more for. Yeah. It was more of the strip clubs. It was more yeah, because we broke through the strip clubs. See, I understood where to go and do the stuff at. You know, yeah. I'm from here, so I knew to go do all that stuff. I knew the music wasn't ready, but guess why we didn't have the music ready? Because we tried to sign every dope little rapper around here, and they told us no. So, wow. you know, we had to go. I had to go work with something. I had to go to work. No, I couldn't just stop because, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't finna go out of town because, you know what I'm saying? I wanted it to be a Houston-based thing. I wanted, to, I wanted to start with Houston first. Give the opportunity here first and then go out of town. Right. But shit, it was like something was like made fraudulent and fake by me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, that ain't the nigga to fuck with. And I'm saying, damn, because if these niggas really knew how much I was ready to invest into them, right. they would have just did it in a heartbeat. But you know, they looking at money bag, yo. Yeah. Black youngsters put 200, not knowing that all this shit is just, front, yeah, you know what I'm saying? So they looking at me like, shit, this is what we want. You know, we, we want that. And I'm saying, shit, good luck, brother. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what we are, what we, what we are about. But that was in 2017 when I was trying to get everybody right, right, right. I'm trying to see how that, how that look. You know what I'm saying? Did y'all get the? <laughs> did y'all get it? Cause shit, you know we we got ours. <laughs> <laughs> because niggas was chill holding their nuts on us early on, you know, and I ain't trying to just hold my nuts right here, right. but I'm just saying niggas didn't make it easy for me. Like, right. I, I, I have no guilt about where I'm at right now because they definitely made me earn it out there. Still yeah. making me earn it, you know what I'm saying? Don't make, don't make me earn it again when it's time to go through the system again, but you know, I'm well prepared for all of, all of it now because I kind of know what's going on, cause what's coming. But you know, you know, like, the answer to that question is just that, yeah, I was forced to have to do all that because, like I said, you know what I'm saying, every little hot dude that was supposed to have a buzz, I wouldn't have had to do that. You know, I didn't even want to be the face of it. You right. know what I'm saying? My idea was to just let, you know what I'm saying? So now I'm like, okay, shit, I got to get out front now because, shit, you know, we got to build a bunch of people from scratch that don't know Bali Hardy. No, they kind of know, but they don't really know. Right, you know right, what I'm right. saying? Megan was the only one who really had the real buzz, maybe had a little bit. Right. He was going in and out of jail. So everybody else was kind of like, right. you know what I'm saying? So shit, I got to be the front of it. I didn't really want to do that, but shit, what, else, what other options we had? You know what I'm saying? So that that's why you saw all the jury and all that from a bunch of people standpoint, because I was like, but well, shit, I'm just going to, I got to draw some attention some type of way to just let us know that we here as a label. So, you know, that's the, that's the route we took. It worked. Yeah, you know. Thank God. <laughs> we sacrificed. Like I say, we worked. We sacrificed. We worked hard. You know what I'm saying? One thing I said when I came in, I said, okay, I might not know nothing about the business, but one thing I do know is that I ain't nobody finna outwork me. Right. I don't care who you is in the city, I understand. I knew I wasn't finna be outwork. You know what I'm saying? Just because I just had a, like, like I ain't just jumping to this like that. I had a chance to sit back and watch the landscape of everything. And I saw where niggas was slacking and slacking and wasn't really working as hard at. So I attacked them areas, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, it just looked like, it looked, it made us look good because, you know, it wasn't really much going on. But like I say, that's what we motivated people to right. get up and do things, which which wasn't a bad thing. But, you know, you know, don't, don't get mad at me because I, cause I noticed that and then, yeah. you know what I'm saying, did what I had to do. But, you know, 
like I say, I ain't here to try to like, you know, put it in people's faces. No, I'm just telling my story. No, you, you hate yo, man. Cause I know they gonna look at this and be like, man, nigga, how old nigga still talking about something? Y'all got quiet, man. The shit y'all put me through in Houston, it don't make no sense. <laughs> this was for y'all. You know what I'm saying? It, it, this was all for y'all. You know what I'm saying? I already had my shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but y'all ain't wanna fuck with a nigga for whatever reason. Niggas what you feel like the reason was? Niggas just felt like, you know, I don't know. From what I heard, from what I heard, it's just some fake over here. We weren't real over here for whatever reason. And I don't know why I ain't real. I'm from Hardest Street. You know what I'm saying? I don't I think, think it was that. I think what it was, yeah. that they felt like it was just another athlete with yeah. some money. Doing it. Yeah. But see, you was a genius on the point to put people in place that yeah. kind of knew. But see, I stood at that point too. And the athlete thing, you know, normally, they don't take this position that I take. You see what I'm saying? Right. They normally want to rap or something they sell. They right. want to be more involved. They, you know what I'm saying? I had literally had a plan where I just, T Ferris, you know, he do it and then, you know, I just sit in the back. You know what I'm saying? So, shit, I don't know. I had like a, I just think most athletes don't have a plan when they get in this. They go right. get like they partner or something and then they go get this nigga all the money. And while you playing, he talking about how he getting this done. I think that's what it uh, mostly was. Yeah. The, I think it was the rap the stuff. Yeah, so, you know, I didn't know what to do. I was just trying my best to try to, like, just show people I was serious and dedicated to making them a star. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said, I already, I already had my career. So, I think people was thinking I was trying to maybe use them to right, blow up right, myself right, right, or right, something right, like right. that. I don't know. But, uh... It's just disappointing because when I genuinely made 1501, it was it was with the city of Houston in mind. Like, anybody that's hot, all right, they say they can't do this, man, we're going to go fuck with them. Right. And we're going to do whatever it takes, you know what I'm saying? But A minute ago, you were saying when you got to go through it again. Yeah, I mean, because I signed new artists, that's why. Yeah. And so I know it's going to be hell going through the cycle again. You know how I think it's going to be easier this time. You think so? Totally. They, <laughs> hey, it went thing not. They respected 1501. You, you know what? I ain't been out, dog. So I don't yeah. know. I just assume. You could call. I, hey. I assume the worst now. I, I, I prepare you for the call worst. a hot motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, nah. We can do that. But I'm saying. No, uh -huh. I'm saying you could call a hot motherfucker right now in yeah. the city that ain't signed. Oh. And they'll be. What a paperwork. Yeah. Yeah. With the paperwork right now. Yeah. Now know what, what the deal could be. I mean, it's still that little circle that, you know what I'm saying, that, that won't do it. And, but that's why, you know, I got to dig deeper yeah. into the city. Y'all you know? niggas seen it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. I don't want to get the girl robbed and that, you know what I'm nah, saying? Nah, 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 you know, man. Y'all just seen it, man. You know what I'm saying? And I have to just let them have it because... You know, I ain't saying I told you, but I'm just saying, man, a nigga really had the best interest around here. You know, so that's it, man. Shit, God, we finna try to do it again with somebody else. This ain't over with. Yeah. Just, I think it's easier right now because you got the momentum going. Yeah, yeah we gonna see. I just had did nothing because we been yeah. so tired of trying to get everything right with it. Cause you got your eyes on some orders though. Yeah, you know, we got some, we got some coming up. Yeah. So we gonna be presenting our slow, seeing what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? Testing the water. Could actually arrive here. And bring us a shot I like that you give us everybody a shot, even coming up here, going yeah. to the studio, yeah, working with other people. We gotta see what's what. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way you're gonna see. You gotta bring them up here, bend them up, put them with the you know, other little good little dude. I wanna see you gonna rise up. That's how I see who wet. You know what I'm saying? So, see, I like the competition. It's like it's that sports stuff. You know? yeah. See, y'all with the feet, let's go. You know, we want it the most. That's, you know, we want it the most. Oh, there you go. That was going down our backs all summer. That white girl. caught America's attention six years ago when video of her rocking at Prairie View A&M University was posted online. Now, the Pearland High School grad goes by the stage name Megan Thee Stallion, and she's one of the hottest breakout stars of the summer. Giving his money to Megan, he knows where he's going to the technical. Y'all like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. From award show performances to multiple hit songs. Including her 
her hit with superstar Nicki Minaj, Hot Girl Summer. The phrase, no doubt, the anthem of the summer. Celebs like Jada Pinkett, even Ellen, couldn't resist. <laughs> Megan says she wants everyone to be unapologetically themselves and to support others doing the same. Now she's calling for the Hot Girl Semester as the 24-year-old continues to pursue her own education at Texas Southern University. New City was buzzing when Megan was in town over the weekend. Of course, how are you? I'm good. We here. We're ready to show. In case you're not familiar, drive the boat means take a drink from the bottle from Megan. Some of the biggest names in the industry have already driven the boat. Artist Doja Cat, who was opening up for Megan on Friday night, also wanted to be the captain. Megan is enrolled at TSU taking health administration. I want to open up some assistance and facilities around the city. So, getting my degree is like teaching me what I need to do to do that. Alright, and meanwhile, meanwhile, I'm here, I'm out here on the road. I'm not Megan's Megan's dressing room was full of those closest to her. Everybody in here pretty much has me since they want. Everybody I went to school with in here, so I mean, and I got my green team, like everybody, I just love her. This is Chelsea, she takes care of Bob. Megan has two dogs. I love having four of me on the road. You know, people don't really like let pit bulls come in hotels and like get on planes and stuff, so I can't bring five everywhere before he gets. It's a special treatment because he is a little Frenchy. What has been the, the most difficult thing about being on the road, you think? Uh, keeping up with the right food to eat. We getting thick. Everybody in here real thick right now. So, we trying to work it out. But that's the hard part. <laughs> Before I let you go, I gotta drive the boat. Oh! <laughs> Then it was showtime as Megan Thee Stallion made her way to a sold out crowd. <laughs> jump on the stage and come dance with her. One of the many reasons they love her. It was so great to see all that love in the room that they had. That's what it is. That's why I tell you I don't feel bad because I didn't take no short pit. I took the hardest route possible. We went through the line and then Mm -hmm. One thing I never we was gonna say, you know what I'm saying, they weren't gonna be the same name was ripping Houston two years after they got, you know what I'm saying? You right, know, I right, 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 names, right. But the right. thing is, people rep Houston when they, right, 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 they right. come back. Nah, I can get you. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know, everybody can't nobody say, oh, nah, we did that. We went straight through the lines then, right where everybody be, everybody in the city knew before this, you know what, right. what I'm saying? So, it makes, it makes you feel better on the inside when you can, like, go through that. Everybody wanna blow up in their own city, man. It's like a dream. Can't lie, can't act like it. Some of the other artists like you be interacting with. Who there? Like outside of the city, like other guys she be like dealing with or nah, what you mean, like like uh like all the famous people she yeah. do with? Nah, I really just come in when we go out there, that's like a different world out there. So I you know what I'm saying, I'm I go in an executive mode just <laughs> watching everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Hollywood stuff I really try to stay away. I don't really deal with that too much. That's really more main lane, you yeah. know, with all the artists and all that. Yeah. You know, they can, artists can deal with each other. Well, I see, like, like the other CEOs, the other, you know, like, QCP yeah. and uh, the uh, Coach K and all of them, like, they always interacting with, yeah, with, the, with you the, know, with like, them. the D's, yeah. the J's. The yeah, see, right now, I ain't, I ain't interacting with them yet because they think, like, everybody is, like, those, you know, the industry really kind of think it's a fluke for me. I only got one. Yeah. So I think once I get some more yeah. artists yeah. and show that I'm able to just at least get anybody going again, 
then you know I'll probably get a little bit more respect. Right now it's like, oh, you got lucky, you just got make yeah, it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm still kind of yeah. like, nigga, ain't they? For sure, for them. But that's cool. Cause yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't mind being that nigga. Cause we all know the little dog turned into big dogs yeah. at some point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One thing I know I ain't finna do is stop working for it. Right, right, right. I know what I'm trying to get. You know what I'm saying? Until I get that, I'm, I'm gonna be steady coming for the, you know what I'm saying? I'm coming for the temple, right? Yeah. I'm for the temple. For real. For real. So, you know, we'll see, man. Like I say, I just always, I just, we have so much talent around here for all the people that's out. Just think if they were all under one spot, you know what right, I'm saying? Just right. doing what they were doing. That's the that's the dream I had when I first got into it. Like, I just want to get all the dope rappers and just like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know, I know it was like an athlete when you on, when you around other good athletes. You work hard. Yeah, like you naturally gonna be. Gonna make like, you better. Yeah, you know you might have a hard time competing with people you trying to beat all the time, but at the end of the season, your numbers gonna be better because. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you knew you had to keep up this dude. You see what I'm saying? Is Megan working with any other artists on uh, 15 on? Outside of, well, you know, she got a song with Rayleigh that we're going to probably put out here soon. So, um, you know, but uh, really we still developing our artists right now. Right. She the only one that's kind of like got the, what we going to do next, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's big, man. What's that? The concerts, the shows, oh, yeah. just the being on TV, like, like it, I just seen it. Like you don't understand, like what well, I just seen you from, you know what I'm saying? At yeah. this point, and now it's like to this point, not counting the money. I'm talking yeah. about just counting the success in this. Like, yeah. Even without the money, like without the money, you think it'll still be successful? Without the money doing this, yeah. psh, it takes some money. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I saw why we was in the slump. When I got and saw why Houston was in the slump, I, I said, okay, this is a big part of it. Yeah. Because it's an everyday town, man. It's an everyday bill. And, and now in the beginning stages, you know what I'm saying? This is an everyday bill. I ain't gonna lie. So unless you unless you waiting, unless you got a code, if you can stand strong for a good three years, because yeah. you gotta think I started this in 2017. Yeah. It's gonna be 2020, so uh, with that, it's a good solid two years. Yeah. So a good solid two years, you're gonna be paying for pretty much everything, yeah. every day, something. You know what I'm saying? Damn yeah. <laughs> you gotta be consistent with it. Uh, but now it's paying back. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you gotta do it right. You know. But it, it, it's crazy that it's one artist, one artist like you had at one point in time. What was the most you had on the roster? Just actually, oh, really. Man. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I had like and they nine. all was putting out. Like they all was moving. Not just moving collectively when y'all was going out. I'm talking about everybody had a project out. Everybody had songs. Uh, everybody had put projects out. We put how many projects out we put? Put like five projects out, but that's a lot. Yeah, we did. That's a lot. I'm talking about you had features, big name features. Yup, we had all that. We gave the opportunity, you know what I'm saying. But uh, you know, like I said, that was me early in the business trying to like just put it out there. That was, that was some of the big mistakes, or that you think that was? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think I, that was the wrong way to do it. Just spending it like that, you yeah. know what I'm saying. Now, luckily. I'm able to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But what if I didn't have, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, like, right. It would have just been a waste. And I think a lot of, you know what I'm I think even the, some of the street guys that come in the, in the business, yeah. like they'll go broke before they, you know, start making it. Man, cause you gotta have some real coin, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, like that little 50, that little 100,000, 250, whatever you're gonna put in it, but like, just gone to the 10th power. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, wow. You know what I'm talking about? That's if you're really trying to trying to succeed, like it takes some bread, you know what I'm talking about? It just takes a lot of money to do it on your own. And I'm just, I ain't trying to scare nobody from doing it. I'm just right. saying that, you know, shit, <clears throat> it ain't gonna be cheap. Now you yeah. might have some that kind of, you know, it's fresh and he's so dopey, pay, make some pop with right, it, got right, right. with it. But even then, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it might just be local. We had examples of that, right. like, you know what I'm saying? Songs that, you gotta, you know, get that shit out. Like it's just. And that's what costs. Yeah, yeah, it costs. But you know, like I said, I'm just glad it didn't go for nothing. You yeah. Because it's a lot of people 
it happened and they didn't get nothing. Did you I ain't the only person spun like this ever, like especially with athlete wise. Yeah. Athletes coming with the when they come in the game, they know they finna spin the M's yeah. or something, you know what I'm talking about? So but they lose, you see what I'm saying? Did you ever have a like a cap off quick point? Say man to the bottom. Hell yeah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, but uh you gotta have a quick point, but you know, from talking to people. That's when it like just hit when you be right there, ready to, yeah. to, to, to quit. That's, That's when, when it blew for you. <laughs> <laughs> Take out. <laughs> for real. Why would you be like, man, Take, man. Shh. Hey, man, y'all better. <laughs> <laughs> you was having a conversation. Y'all better, hey, man, we gotta start talking about some other shit. Because, <laughs> uh, man, I mean, hey, you know, we knew Megan was, you know, potentially growing. But she, you know, you know, I was looking at it as a whole roster. You know, motherfuckers quit on me, did yeah. all type of shit. I'm like, man, we down to the Megan was the only one. Nah, you're right. She was the only one. Everybody else was like, or quit or whatever, whatever right, happened. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? She, she held it down. So that's <laughs> <laughs> all it takes. Girl, girl held it down. You know what I'm saying? So shit, I'm, I'm fake. I'm forever grateful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if like a young artist right now, I hear work. Yeah, how could it get your attention? Shit, just make something hot, or just you know what I'm saying. Just you know, like people think I'll be looking when they be tagging. When they be tagging, I'll be looking at all that shit. So we just be unique. You know what I'm saying? Something unique and just that yeah, everybody been some week. You know what I'm talking about? And that's pretty much it. I kind of just look at the talent and see, like um. Like, um, if it's something that automatically grabbed me, like, when, like I look for the feeling, like, when I saw a baby. All right. So, when I get that feeling, then that's when I kind of, like, just zoom in and see what's up with them, shit like that. But, so that's pretty much about it. Any, any other female artists, like, right now, it's kind of popping. So, Megan, like, at the top, mm -hmm. there's a lot of female artists that's not so much mimicking her, but, you know, just doing their thing, yeah. you know, just, you know, rapping like her, but in yeah. a sense. But that's their lane. Like, what you put them... I wouldn't, if I was gonna get another girl rapper, she wouldn't be nothing like me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because, just because. I'm like, yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. I want, I'm gonna get something totally different. Not saying, you know what I'm saying? She'll be better, but it'll just be, yeah. it just, it's just, you know what I'm talking about? It won't be nothing like, they won't look the same, sound yeah. the same, nothing. It'll be totally uh, original or uh, some different type of stuff going on. And that's crazy, man. What's that? Just, just, just what we had with it. For real, man. Just I'm what telling we you. With it, man. I left this studio, motherfucker. Like, man, you spent this money on this shit, man. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Well, shit. what was the the like the closest person to you to like like try to kill your your dreams like this right here? They were trying to kill it. Yeah. Sure, man. I had my uncle tell me. My uncle tell me that my gift was put there to play baseball. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I used to be so well teaching niggas how to run, yeah. speed, steal bases. I said, <laughs> I said, I said, man, I got a correction, man. My gift was, my gift was to have the brain, yeah. that that, you know what I'm saying, and the, the knowledge to know that I can do anything I set my mind to. That's that's my gift to know that I have that power. So all this running and teaching stealing bases. Nah, you know what I'm saying? So shit. You still got a passion for baseball though? Uh, you know, my kids play. Okay. You know what I'm saying? My son, he in 10th grade, you know what I'm saying? So it's cool, it's just this shit. It's just, I, you know what I'm saying? I just, it just won't be down. So I like watching it if I know somebody playing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. My little boy play it, my youngest son play. You know, I got to, I, I, I don't, ain't no hiding from it for yeah, me. Yeah. I got to get right back in it. So this kept me busy until that happened. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You think they going you you will want them to go in the league? And the baseball? Yeah. Yeah, they all gonna go. They my sons, you know. So yeah. Them niggas already yeah. they prepped to go. <laughs> Oldest son play on team USA and shit. For real. Yeah, they you know, they bring it back. You know how like in in, in, in basketball and, and uh not even in football it's like real big on the little league side. What's Just like that in baseball? What's that? Like uh like the AUU type of uh Teams and stuff like that. For so baseball? Yeah. Yeah, they used to play travel ball. You know what I'm saying? So they be playing, you know, select ball, you know what I'm saying? They'll have like whole leagues and stuff like that in the summertime. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Because uh, TJ Fuller, when he retired, he, he did. He went, yeah, he got he got all the camps and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I might do that type of stuff one day. But you know, I got so much. I got, I got, I didn't, you know what I'm saying? Like, this would, I wasn't supposed to be this wrapped up in the music, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, you know, right. I thought I was just going to be able to just watch it from a distance. Yeah. But then I just had to, I said, oh, man, I got to, I got to be in. But sound like you got a passion for it, though. Yeah, that is true, too. That is, but that's the only thing I think, I think those are the only things I can do good. I got to have a passion for it. Yeah. If I got a genuine passion for something, I'll be successful. And that's the only thing I kind of really go after. Right. Something that I just gonna wake up first thing in the morning. You know what I'm saying? I know motherfuckers when waking up, going to go take care of music like I was. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know when these niggas come out. They gonna come out 12, go to they, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They go to they, you know, I got the whole day to beat y'all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? yeah, yeah. Eight foot of the end. Yeah. Yeah. I get up eight o'clock in the morning on y'all, and nigga, just straight. Get the business soon. I can get up. But sports, sports if you discipline yourself for that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Not even sports. You know what I'm saying. I got a barbecue place here, Burns Barbecue. Well, my grandfather used to own it. Shit, man. My daddy was his son. He used to work there. You know, right. he still do. But first person there, last person to leave. You know what I'm saying. All I did was took that same blueprint, added to sports, yeah. added to me. You know what I'm saying. It's been successful. It's a successful thing. Just I work. I work the competition. Yeah. Motherfuckers say they finna out working, but, but you see, wasn't, you wasn't. It wasn't no competition when you started fifteen on one, and that's. I feel like that's the like. You know, how it's easier to be to see somebody winning yeah. and do exactly what they doing a little more, yeah. and you can win. But like, for you to be where you was at and built what you got built is like a gift because it was no blueprint. Nothing. You yeah. know. Well, you know, you had a blueprint for us, like finding the talent, add the money, and put it in the spots, you know. But for us trying to do it in this Outside new age, Houston. yeah, in this new age, you know, you got social media and uh, you know streaming, everything different. Right, like, you right, know what right. I'm saying? Like you have to figure that. So I ain't even know what that stuff was. Like yeah. streaming, I ain't even know what that shit was. I ain't dying for real stuff, dog. But uh, shit, you know. I'm trying to think. You had uh, DSD one. They was doing their thing over there, you know. Right, so we had them. And um, I'm trying to see. Um, as far as label wise, yeah, I ain't too sure. You know, I mean, you got to rap a lot the new wave, you know. What right, I'm right, saying? right. But, you know, stuff like this. So, like I said, you know, it was little stuff around. You know what I'm talking about? Right. But wasn't nothing. I mean, rap a lot is always rap a lot. Right, for so. sure. Yeah, but. You know what I'm saying? DSD1, I think they were buzzing a little bit. They had Stunner Bam over there. And then you had us. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Wait, 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 wait. Would you ever sign like a older artist in Houston? Or you'll just get the new young artists? You know what I'm saying? See. Yeah. You rappers can't rap, they flop. You rappers can't rap, they flop. That shit hard right there. That shit hard. You rappers can't rap, they flop. This chopper looks so so like he blocks. I ain't a play like a bop. Free all the eyes on the bop. Cause I need more targets to pop. Where my time is here, take his time. Young nigga go nuts, no arm. I'm smash out middle finger to your hand. I want to see like millionaire stars and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I really. But a lot of people minds ain't there though. Like they don't, they don't never see themselves as saying being millionaire. Man, that's crazy. Cause I can see. 
Well, shit. Just gotta find the white ones who want it more than more than you do. Yeah. I can't want this more than they do. That's what happened a lot of time. But uh, we're gonna find that. We're gonna find the next next star around here. Yeah. We're gonna write through fifteen on one again. Somebody gonna somebody gonna grab the bull by the hand. <laughs>